When we look at the night sky, we can see roughly 2,000 stars with our eyes alone, and many more through a telescope. How can we know if one of them isn't actually a star, but a planet? It takes hard work, the right equipment, and of course, a slice of good fortune. During the 19th century, astronomers began to speculate that there might be another planet in the solar system beyond the orbit of Neptune. They based this suspicion on what they thought were slight wobbles in the orbit of Uranus, which couldn't be explained by Neptune alone. In 1906, a wealthy businessman and amateur astronomer, Percival Lowell, began a quest to find this missing world, which he called Planet X. He conducted this search from Lowell Observatory in Arizona, which he'd founded in 1894. Along with fellow astronomer William H. Pickering, he surveyed various parts of the sky where he believed Planet X might lie, but came up empty-handed. After Lowell died in 1916, his widow, Constance Lowell, began a 10-year legal battle over the future of the observatory, during which time the hunt for a new planet was put on hold. In 1927, Lowell's nephew, Roger Lowell Putnam, took over as sole trustee of the observatory and went on to serve in that role for the next 40 years. He brought in fresh equipment and staff and renewed the search for Planet X. For this specific task in 1929, he hired a talented young observer Clyde William Tombow. Tombow took photos of regions of the sky where predictions, including those made by Lowell, suggested that Planet X might lie. Then he photographed the same regions a few days later and used an instrument called a blink comparator to detect if any objects had shifted position relative to the background stars. On the 23rd of January 1930, Tombow took a photo of one particular region near where Lowell had suspected the new planet might be found. Six days later, he photographed the same small patch of sky and noticed that one of the points of light had moved. Stars are too far away from Earth to show any relative motion in such a short period of time. After the observatory obtained further confirmatory photos, news of the discovery of Planet X was telegraphed to the Harvard College Observatory on the 13th of March, 1930. Lowell Observatory now had the right to give a proper name to Planet X. Hundreds of suggestions came in from all over the world. These were reduced to just three contenders, Minerva, Cronus, and Pluto. The suggestion of Pluto came from an 11-year-old schoolgirl in England, Venetia Burney. In Roman mythology, Pluto was the god of the underworld, inhabiting a gloomy realm far from the other gods. Also, Pluto starts with the letters PL, the initials of Percival Lowell. It all fitted perfectly, and a unanimous decision was announced to name the planet Pluto on the 1st of May, 1930. More recently though, Pluto has lost its planetary status. In August 2006, the International Astronomical Union created an official definition for the term planet. According to this, a planet must satisfy three conditions. It must be in orbit around the Sun, it must be massive enough to be rounded by its own gravity, and it must have cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. Pluto fails to meet the last condition. Its mass is substantially less than the combined mass of the other objects in or near its orbit. For this reason, Pluto was demoted in status from a planet to a dwarf planet. A lot of people protested this decision, including many astronomers. 
In July 2015, the New Horizons spacecraft flew past Pluto, sending back amazingly detailed photos of its surface, and we saw this strange new world clearly for the first time. True planet or not, Pluto is a place with a fascinating history and many secrets for science to unlock.